Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. Hello, my name is Faisal Khan, CEO and founder of VoiceBootcamp.com. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to install Cisco Finance Server and prepare the DNS to support Finance. One other thing about installing Cisco Finance is that you must configure DNS server properly. Should you fail to install or configure DNS server with the proper records, then the Finas uh, login may, may not work in most cases. So I'm going to show you first with the DNS and then I'm going to show you how to install on a VMware. So the first thing we're going to do is log into our Active Directory. Alright, so we will go to the DNS Manager. And in the DNS manager, you must have your domain name, your Active Directory domain name, of course. And of course, for each FINA server, we're going to have our uh, two type of record. A A record, which is your host record, or a PTR record or reverse record. So now, in order for the reverse uh, lookup to work, first of all, on your reverse lookup folder, you must have a reverse inverse re uh, IP address of your network. So this is one that I have right there. Uh, if you're not sure how to do it, you can always go, uh, yeah, look up the uh, YouTube for reverse DNS and it will give you some information. Now, having said that, I have four Finas server that in my pl cluster. We have one for India Finas server primary server. Then we have India backup Finas server. We have US uh, Finas server primary and US Finas server backup. Now, all of them have an IP address configured. So whatever the name you decide is up to you, of course, and your uh, domain name and IP address. Now, what's important here is that by selecting PTR record. Now, this is an update, obviously, because I've already created one for you. However, if you want to recreate it yourself with something, let's say, call it FN, and you want to assign an IP address, for example, And then you want to say create PTR record. Now create PTR record will only work. This will should be only work if you have already configured the reverse DNS entry. Otherwise, of course, it does not know where to go and create this reverse record for. So that is very important. Now what we're going to do right now, obviously we already created. If you look at uh, the name, uh, sorry, the host name. So there are one, two, and then US uh, site A and site B. Now on the reverse record, you'll see the same thing. You will see uh, these four entry that I have for my Finas servers. Now to verify whether this is going to work, this is working or not, you can go to your command prompt. And what you want to do, you want to first change, uh, test the forward lookup zone. So you say ping. F N A, sorry, I N F N A dot voice bootcamp dot com, and as you can see, it is uh, pointing to the IP address right there, ninety one. Now, if I take a look at uh, eighty two, which is my another finas, I want to do reverse lookup. So I want to say ping minus A, one forty two. 6482 and it's going to re return the pinging the host name. So this is a confirmation that your reverse uh, PTR record or reverse record has been configured successfully and you're now ready to move on to Finas server. Now we have four Finas server that we're going to install. So I'm going to start with the India Finas server. The first thing I'm going to do is make sure the CD-ROM is mounted. Now, we, the India Finas server will be handled by, for the agent from India, where the US Finas server will deal with the agent from or in the US. So in the CD-ROM, we're going to say data store. And this is my Finas application or ISO files. Make sure it's connected. Now, obviously, this is a little too high of memory for my lab environment. So what I'll do, I'll just reduce it down to 496, 4 gig basically. 
Now, one other thing you want to do is go to the expand the memory and then change this to zero because obviously I don't have enough memory resources on these servers to occupy all those uh, resources. So I'll go ahead and click OK. So I'm ready to start with that. So let's go and power on. While that is being powered on, let's go and modify the India Finance Server secondary. Again, the same thing 4096. Zero reservation CPU. Sometimes putting zero ref uh, reservation, the installation may fail. So you want to be very careful on that. So we want to map to the Finas ISO file and make sure the connect at power on is checked. All right, so you are done with the India, uh, sorry, the secondary server in India. So let's power that on. While that is powering on, let's go and modify the US cluster. So right here, they're all version 11, by the way. Okay, so this was a little too low. May be an issue during the installation. So reservation is already set to zero and the CD-ROM I believe is also mapped doesn't look like it but I'll just double check it anyway okay so again let's turn this feature on and now we're going to do this now when you repeat this installation or any task over a period of time obviously you start to get uh, you know, expertise on it you, if you're doing it for the first time, you know, be patient. It, they do take some time, uh, especially in lab environment. We, you, know, you and I may not have the most sophisticated uh, uh, you know, equipment, so sometimes that may be a, a problem, so we have to rely, uh, rely on whatever we have. So be patient, it does work, and you will see the progress slowly. Okay, so all the servers are turned on, so let me go back to my India Finas server, and this time what I'm gonna do is actually log in to the console and obviously I hit this part it's not found don't really need it this is only good when you have a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM shipped to you now I like to do things multiple at the same time that way you know I don't waste time so I will open the India one I'll also do the same thing escape the media and I'll go like flip-flop back and forth that way I can get step done a little bit ahead. So that's the US primary and this is going to be the US secondary. So go back to India. So as you can see still coming up. India, so India secondary is still coming up. US primary coming up and US secondary is also coming up. Okay, so as you can see, the product that about to be installed is Cisco Finas server. Okay, so I'm going to select OK. Uh, it's going to tell me that right now in the hard drive there's nothing in there. But what about what I'm about to install is 11.5.1, uh, which is the version that we want would like to install. So let's say yes. A wizard setup initial platform okay so we're going to use a wizard basic install uh, this is India so we're going to choose uh, a time zone in Asia okay so let's choose New Delhi let's see if they have Bangalore okay, they don't have Bangalore so I'm going to choose New Delhi and they don't have that either
Okay, what I'm going to do is something closest to it. So let's call this Taka, which is close to Calcutta. So pretty much similar time zone. All right, so although, again, we, you, you got the point. So next, uh, we do not want to change anything in MTU. This is, uh, this is very important. You must select India Finance A. Now again, I forgot to type address myself. So let's do a reverse DNS. INFNA dot voice bootcamp dot no, not from this server. Let's apologize. From this server. Because my laptop is pointing to different DNS server. INFNA dot voice bootcamp dot com. And it is 91. So 64.91.244.550. Default gateway and the uh, primary DNS is very important, so it's going to be your DNA Active Directory IP address, and the domain name is voicebootcamp.com. Okay, so this is the administrator for your Finas admin. this uh, I don't know UP India next all right so is this is your first thought yes it is this is my NTP server address your security password in this case is voice bootcamp and this is your web administration password so first one was operating system this is the web all right we're ready to go in installation so let's go ahead and the first one is ready to run roll i will go ahead and complete the second one and again these are all repeated process so at this moment you can stop the video should you if you want to so i'll go radio silent until i finish all the installation I like to keep all my username and password in a lowercase format for training purposes. Okay, so this is not the first one. This is the IP address of my second first primary server. All right, so I'm going to hold on to this installation right here uh, because I, it may require the pri primary to be up. So I'm just going to stop here for the secondary until the primary is completed. So I'll go ahead and start with the US cluster now.
This is the secondary US server. So I'll go ahead and stop here until the primary is installed. All right, so that's pretty much how you would install Finus. And once everything is up and running or reboot installed, simply log in to the web browser IP uh, from the web browser to the IP address of the Finus server, and you should have Finus uh, web interface enabled. All right, so that's pretty much it for this lab. Any customization you will find in the later chapter.